guys, we're gonna work on Chris's cluster headaches right now. He's had them on and off since he was in sixth grade. Um, they've been pretty annoying. We've done some um, prayers in the name of Jesus and it shifted a lot of energy, but there's something left. Um, in my experience, this can be where um, we need to use more of our intuition and borrow from, sorry, my cat is in heat. So if you hear her asking for attention incessantly, Chris is like, has been around more cats with heat. And he's like, I've never seen a cat <laughs> like that before. So we have like the queen of all queens over here. All right. I did start to set it up as a constellation in my head the other day to give him feedback on what to work on. And it looked like it was uh, a family member. So um, for those of you that are spiritual healers, sometimes if you're removing entities, um, if there's a, um, a disappearing or parasitic twin attached to the person or a family member that died that didn't cross over, if you clear an entity, even though an entity is oftentimes like a lost soul that didn't go to heaven because they were afraid or felt too much shame or had too much bad karma, whatever, you sometimes need to look for a family member. And that's what it looked like. I'm going to look again. So in family constellations for healing disease, um, sometimes we use people standing up. I don't have a group of people. I'm going to look at it with my own intuition with all the years of practice and stuff as two stones. So this is Chris and this is his headache. And to me, it feels like it's a, another conscious energy. And when I looked at it the other day, it looked um, like Chris was like, get off of me, I can't stand you. And then they were both like mad at each other and then there was actually sadness underneath that. So I've already processed that layer. He went and tried talking to it and it was like, I want a body. And he's like, okay, how can I get you a body? And asked to come in as wheatgrass. We happen to have wheatgrass seeds. Let's see if that was like, I'm not, I, I'm, I trust Chris's intuition, but when you're giving a healing to somebody else, you don't want to perfect their own neuroses, right? That's particular in psychology and any kind of healing. So I want to double check, is it relevant or do I want to throw his theory away because maybe I'm going to see something else. Now, you guys can't see it. Let me bring it down. Now, actually, the wheatgrass looks like it would be ha bring happiness. Which is interesting. So, one of the things I agree with this soul with, Chris is that sometimes you do have a character defect of procrastination. So we might want to plant it sooner than later because you got the message, what, yesterday or the day before yesterday? So, but we can say, hey, give me a week, right? We can negotiate, give me a week. You want a body? I can give you a body. Um, I did ask Mahavatar Babaji, he's been alive since the time of Jesus in a physical body alive. So like ancient, um, that's, he's like the all living guru or never dying guru or something like that. We asked him to give a healing. He gives everybody a free healing. Mahavatar Babaji. If you have something urgent going on that you want a healing for one free healing. So you don't want to use it wisely. You can call on him. So we tried that. Cause I was like, I want to get to yoga. Let's see if he'll just heal you quickly. Um, and so I just want to see if I can get some of his perspective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring this, this energy, right? Cause we're, we're doing a microcosm of the macrocosm. So it looks like I'm just playing with stones, but energetically my consciousness because the universe is conscious is changing the energy of the macrocosm on the microcosm. And actually sand tray therapy, when we do this with our patients, for those of you that are just traditional therapists, we're doing the same thing. So what stands out to me here 
is why is it always attaching to something else? Because there's like a seed, and you know, a seed kind of like an embryo, a different soul could go into it, but it's not looking like that. It's looking like What I'm going to do, and you guys can try it too, is I'm going to um, imagine walking into this one first, because this is the headache. So we're looking at the headache, and what I saw was that the headache was a soul. So we're going to just verify that what I saw the other day was accurate, uh, see if there's anything new in there, or if there's new information by just pretending to walk into it with your astral body. So go ahead, I'm going to look. I look pretty quickly. You can take more time if you want to. You might want to pause. And I see that this needs um, a healing on sadness and loneliness. And so I have multiple methods that I could use to heal it, but it's attached to Chris. And so Chris, I'd like you to say, I'm sorry that I've left you sad and lonely. Or I, we actually don't apologize in Family Constellations. We say, I take responsibility for leaving you sad and lonely. That's my cat in heat. Cat calling. That's a cat call if you never heard one before. And then when Chris says that, and he's just doing it in his mind behind me, and we're doing it energetically, um, it does great bring a piece of like, oh, you're like, um, you're acknowledging my pain, right? Like if you ever felt acknowledged, it brings a peace in there. Because part of like, we, you know, wants to be come back as wheatgrass. It feels like, you know, each blend of grass is like a community that you're in kind of a thing. But I'm going to walk inside the wheatgrass. You can go ahead too and just see. So there's something about feeling healthy in wheatgrass. Like it, it feels like it would be like a healthy thing to come into sunshine and rain and water. And then that community, right? Like you can't be lonely because everyone's just there with you and you're individual, but you're still all together. Chris said, he's like, I heard wheatgrass too. And I was like, really? And he's like, yeah, I want to be wheatgrass. Okay. So I'm going to just ask Mahavatar Babaji if there's a message. So I'm not getting a message, I'm getting an experience that I feel like would be good to share with you guys. So um, if you meditate with Mahavatar Babaji, and I do with the Self-Realization Fellowship Gurus, and for those of you that are very Christian, Jesus is one of the gurus. He's, he's believed to be the incarnation of God in the Self-Realization Fellowship tradition as well. And there are other um, gurus, which are, you know, like enlightened masters, saints, um, just a different name because they're using Indian names for it. Um, part of the healing on the planet is going to be really coming and realizing like the divinely faced traditions are very similar. They're very similar. Like when I'm, when I'm reading the all-knowing field it could be the holy spirit that i'm that i'm reading here um I, I i don't know for sure that it is um but it shows what is hidden that needs to be seen right and that's how people do um do ministry work in christianity by getting the revelation from the holy spirit of what needs to be healed in jesus's name um and like i said so if any of you do a lot of healing in jesus's name Look, look at her, like, please, I need a man. I need a man. We gotcha, mom, we know, we know. She's under a year and a half, so we're waiting for her to have her joints fully developed before we figure out the best way to, for birth control. Um, okay.
So the experience is, is that if you meditate with them, it helps lift the burden off of you and the karma off of you. And it brought me, uh, it, it helps you go into a, a, the I am that I am presence, that like deepness inside of you that has access to all of it, which is how our intuition works. Right. If we look at it from a shamanic perspective, um, it's that there's a um, cords and aka connections, like a spider web between every living thing. And so my subconscious mind is attached to all of that. And so I can look when I have the veils lifted off from doing the healing work, from doing the meditation work, from eating healthy and raising my vibration. When you do that work, you can go and you can see anything like a spider walking down a web. And so you can also disconnect, right? When you cut the cord, it's disconnecting so that an energy that you don't want isn't in your space then. Same thing, you know, in Christianity, they'll say it's uh, walls of protection. Well, if you're putting up a wall, there isn't a cord connected to you. So again, it's all the same thing. Now, Chris's headache. Because I hear him being like, okay, what about me? Have you felt a shift yet from acknowledging the thing? No. Okay, we're gonna bring your mom energy in. What was your what was going on in your relationship with your mom when you were in sixth grade? Is she around or not around? Mm -hmm. She's around. Okay. Um. So I'm bringing the energy of your mom in because it feels like you needed. So well, that's different. When I put it here, I actually wonder if it's a sibling that didn't make it into a physical body. When I put mom here, it looks, the soul looks different suddenly. Um, to me, the what about me, it felt like you wanted that mom nurturing energy to come in and like take care of you and comfort you. And there were some, some breaks in that in childhood, like with many people. And so I'm just... So I'm bringing that there. And then I'm looking from mom's perspective and she's like, wow, like that, this is affecting my son now here, you know, kind of just the family soul is kind of shocked a little. Can you say to the soul, I acknowledge you and see if it feels real, we're gonna test it. I acknowledge you as my sibling and in our family line. And if you were here, we would have enjoyed gardening together. Does that feel, does that sit, feel congruent when you think it? Mm -hmm. It does feel congruent? Okay. So when we do this intuitive work, it feels congruent because it, it resonates in your body as true. Did you have an energetic shift at all with it too, or did it just ring true in your body? No, it just ring true. Okay. And you already got the name? They gave you the name? What was the name of your sibling again? Cassie. Cassie? Mm hmm Okay. interesting that you say Cassie because I thought it was feeling like a boy but when you say that it's, it's a girl so just say Cassie you'll always be my sister and I'll always be your brother and I will plant wheatgrass in your honor as a way to honor your place in this lineage And I imagine being in nowhere's land in the family is lonely and sad. I can see that now. Yeah. 
And then mom is saying I had no idea. So I'm gonna just do the family constellation statements for mom. You're my child and I'm your mother. I'll always be your mother. And I take responsibility for my part in you not being here. And I honor your place in our lineage. I don't have 15 male cats lined up outside that window trying to get in. <laughs> Are you feeling shifts? Okay. So what is it? What are the shifts feeling like? So I'm gonna just see, I'm gonna bring in God and just see if the soul is ready to cross over. And so Mahavatar Babaji, I'm going kind of like push this back without ticking this over. It's very close with the God, right? As an enlightened master. And so I'm putting God up there by his circle. And so let's just see, it feels like there's an opening. So. Um, Chris, why don't you just say I can understand why you've been trying so hard to get my attention? Because you've been ready for a change and you knew that we had the skills to do it. And even from the other side, we can still connect with you. And it wants you to do the wheatgrass today. I have wheatgrass and I have soil. Plant some, yeah? And take it home with me. And so now we cross the soul over and under God and letting God bring it where it's supposed to go. I've seen like rehabilitation places for souls because sometimes I have people that are really wounded attached to people still and they're not ready for heaven, but they can't just stay lost around here. So there's like an angelic rehabilitation place that I've seen that some go to. Um, Uh, mom is just saying to you, Chris, I take responsibility for the burden of mine that you've taken on. You don't need to carry that anymore. And it's like that little boy wanted to help her and carry it which a lot of it's normal in families for children to do that age three according to this constellation hellinger's theory and then i just think it would be good to ask her to light a candle or something for this sibling too and then what's your headache at now is it changed at all gone down gone down to what How much is left? It was at a spike, right? And now it's... It's just uh, like the, the normal five or six. Normal five or six. Okay. So we got it at a spike. There's 
been a lot of layers on this for him, so it's possible this is one layer. I'm gonna keep working on it, but for sake of time, I'm gonna um, get off, or maybe make maybe I'll make a second one.